Hi, I'm Teresa with Inflectra. I'll be providing a series of short videos to help you get started using Spira. This includes all the additions of the system, Spira Test, Spira Team, and Spira Plan. In this video, we'll look at managing tasks in Spira Team and Spira Plan. So let's get started. In my current product here, I have requirements with development tasks, plan for particular sprints in my release 1.0. We want to focus specifically on tasks, so we can access that from our artifact menu here. The task list view, you can see the task progress, all the tasks have not yet started, and the highlighted yellow bar indicates late starting tasks. You can also look at other key fields like priority and scheduled release. For a more visual approach, we can switch to the task board view here in the top right. Here we have the traditional Kanban view by status. We can filter the result for the release 1.0, and you can see that all the tasks appear in the not started column. To begin making assignments, we just want to change the group by to by person. Spira will display all the members of the product you can easily minimize those that aren't applicable. Now to make task assignments, you simply click on cards and drag them to the appropriate resource. Great. Now that I've assigned some tasks to Teresa Green, I can click on the My Page icon here in the top left and begin working on those tasks. On the My Page view, you can filter by current product, and then in the My Assigned Task widgets, I can see those tasks that were just assigned. I can easily ac access the Task Detail page by clicking on the link from this widget. Now I want to go ahead and start that task, hit save, and perhaps enter in some actual effort for the task. I can enter an idea for the remaining effort as well. And I can save those values. Then here in the left navigation area, because it's filtered for my assigned tasks, I can just easily move to my next task. I may choose to start this one and log in a completed amount of effort, save, and then complete this task as well, saving that value. Now if we return back to our Kanban view, filtering by status, you can see the tasks have the progress bar updated and are in the appropriate column for in progress and completion. There's one additional option for updating time spent on tasks and incidents, and that is to use the time card. You can access that from the drop-down menu for your user profile here. The time card option lets users update effort spent on a number of items all at once. Thanks for watching this Spira task management video today. We have more Spira Explainer videos on our website, so check them out now.